His Excellency Mohammed Al Khalifa joins me now. He is the Minister of Oil in Bahrain. And of course, very, very important that you're here with this dialogue. How important are you finding the conversations? It's yeah, always a pleasure. Fantastic first session. Uh, everybody's talking about the future outlooks. You've got the IAF having both OPEC and the EIA together, trying to look at their forecasts. And they seem to be all holding the same message. Uh, they're positive about growth. It's not going to be as high as, as uh, in the past, but there's going to be strong growth. They see balancing of the markets. Uh, they've got a, a, a short, medium, and a long-term outlook view. And there is convergence in uh, an overall view of the energy markets for the future. So a fantastic gathering so far. Now, of course, the IEF plays very much a central role in this, in a way. How important would you say the International Energy Forum has been in really bringing all the parties to the table? And also, you know, we have a lot of people here from actually around the world that are interested in this. I mean, this was, for me, the first time I attend. But, of course, it's been gaining uh, importance over the years and with the, uh, with the strong support it's having from the government of Saudi Arabia uh, in particular and uh, all the member states. Uh, you know, it's the, the amount of information that's being consolidated, it's quite helpful. I mean, this is only the first session already, we think we know everything about the future of the markets. So that's the significance it brings. It brings both consumers, producers, uh, international organizations from the UN, uh, the International Energy Agency, OPEC, all of that to make sure that you have a sustainable energy future for, for this globe. And uh, I think very important work that's being done. So. Uh, yeah, and high commitments to all the people at the IEF uh, and the people supporting it. Now, of course, um, Bahrain, not a member of OPEC, but always a key player in the energy industry. When we look back at the history of oil, too, and particularly in the Middle East, um, when you look at the environment at the moment, price-wise and that, how are things in Bahrain? Well, I think uh, oil prices uh, dropped significantly. That wasn't uh, something that was forecasted that uh, had an immediate impact on government fiscal uh, programs. Uh, the other challenge is, uh, you know, as, as we were looking to more difficult oil, more expensive oil, uh, you need to reconsider those investments. Uh, but still, we, uh, we plan to take advantage of the situation because service costs have also come down significantly by 30, 40 percent sometimes. And it's also a good time to expand the downstream. The refinery business has been exceptional in 2015. 16 was a good year as well. Uh, EPC contractors are not so busy, so if you've got a project to build, now is probably the best time to build it. And uh, we've already started some of those projects. We're expanding a, a pipeline between us and Saudi Aramco. We have the refinery expansion coming up, uh, an LNG terminal just confirmed to make sure we diversify our source of gas. Bahrain depends on gas as its primary source of energy. Uh, so times of opportunity, I would guess, and I think the future looks promising. And again, how is that non-OPEC, OPEC relationship? That, I would imagine, has always been important for Bahrain and something that, that all of the ministers, and even particularly here in the Gulf, I think you would all treasure that and build on it. A historic uh, event on uh, December, first week of December with the, uh, with the agreement. That has never happened before. So I think the leadership shown there by the OPEC countries, the non-OPEC countries, bringing all those countries together in a very short time and making a decision as significant as that, had, had shown its reward so far, and it's only been two, two months, not, not more, and uh, you, you've seen prices edge up a little bit, um, and I think so far the, it's looking good. People are sticking to the cuts, um, and I think uh, a truly historic event, so uh, kudos to the people that worked on that uh, arrangement, definitely.